My name is uh, Hedwig Kwaisaya, head teacher, Mohaya Primary School, and acting principal, Mohaya Junior Secondary School. Late last year, in November, we received a closure notice from the Minister of Health because the school was not having sufficient facilities and did not have uh, uh, access to clean water. So when I received that closure notice, I was actually uh, I was frustrated. For a school to run properly, the Minister of Health uh, has set regulations. It requires that a school must have proper and adequate sanitation. It, it requires that a school must have clean water, access to clean water. It requires that uh, a school must have a, a clean environment, of which you cannot do if you don't have clean water. So I did a letter to the water project in Kakamega, and uh, immediately they received the letter. They came to a rescue. They promised that they are going to drill for us a borehole and dig for us a six, a six door pit latrine. So we took that report. They even gave me a letter. I took that letter to the Minister of Health and they promised not to close the school. So this year, as I'm talking, we have six pit latrines and we are having a borehole and the water, there's a lot of water. The children now do not have to go outside and look for water as they used to do. Because even out there, the water they were bringing was not clean water. We were drawing water from a stream, the water was dirty, and they had, uh, we had a lot of diseases like typhoid and uh, cholera. Mm, it could affect their health. So right now, we have clean water. The community has access to clean water because we have, we have allowed them to draw this water. And the children have enough time to learn. So we have no fear of the school being closed again. I'm very grateful to the water project. And may God, may, may God give you the grace to reach very many schools so that uh, you may come to their aid and help them to come out of the problems, uh, the, the sanitation problems and lack of water that we, have been, that, that we are experiencing before we met you. God bless you so much. May you live long.